right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Gerard Tyson with that patented white towel, the black shorts. This is as good as it gets, champ. I mean, what an iconic look, right? I mean, it is what our childhood was made of. Watching Mike Tyson with that stare, with the posse, with the crowd walking to the octagon, ready to go and tear somebody up. Iron Mike Tyson with the white towel, the black shorts, and no socks. Dude, this is what us kids in Louisiana, we looked up to him. He was a hero. It was like he was wearing a cape because he had on the white top. And I know you've seen some of the training footage. Got a pretty good sprawl. Perhaps that's gonna be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are gonna try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Mike Tyson is ready to go and that means so are we for our main event. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Ben. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so here he is, Iron Mike Tyson. The flurry is coming. Look for him to use that signature peekaboo style to try to get inside. Has been vulnerable to leg kicks, though, since he transitioned to mixed martial arts. He's worked hard on the takedown defense. We'll see if Tyson can keep this fight upright here tonight in what is a very interesting stylistic challenge. He engages in a single collar tie here. And now some distance as they pull apart. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Punches and punches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots. He's doing a great job of stringing the shot. Big double leg leg change. He's got to be careful here. Nice strike lands from the bottom fighter. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. All right, side control now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, 
submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Just over three minutes to go round one. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Big ground and pound. Now he's got a good body position. Yup. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Tyson. He's having his way with him here. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Look at him, he's setting up the choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. Well, eventually he's gonna try to get up, but he's moving his head pretty well here to avoid damage on the ground. You don't wanna be comfortable on your back. When you're taken down, you gotta make sure you're active. That's exactly what he's doing. Just over two minutes to go. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Another ground and pound strike lands. Get the ball here. This is a terrible position. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Oh, arm triangle, arm triangle, arm triangle. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Good job by the champ there. Good work, guys. Slide back up. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling. That's exactly what they got in that exchange. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. That right eye's looking pretty swollen. Oh, he did a great job of rotating it into an underhook. Oh, nice jab up top by Tyson. Another punch to the head. Great shot there. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh, he's going to try and look at Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Tyson. Great job landing from the top position. Horn sounds for the end of round hey, one. Stop. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of Ready wrestling fight. for as Ready. long as he has done this. Yeah. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking them down, getting taken down, and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Oh, connects with the one-two. So with that, our next round is underway. It looked like maybe we wouldn't get here. There was a close attempt on a submission in the previous round, but I thought we lose to fight another round. It was very, very close. If it's me and I'm his coach, I'm telling him, get right back to it. This time, he will not be able to survive. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. He's got to be careful here. Oh, he's 
going for his arm now. This is tight. Oh, so how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You've got to make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Well, you know the takes his back. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise, the crowd responds. Oh, the crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Nice strike. Nice defense there. Huge block. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, gets the single leg takedown. Pretty good velocity on that one. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Oh, right into Mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Another strike hit. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Another ground strike for good measure. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Tyson. Get that knee in, shrimp. Under two minutes to go here in our second round. Oh, the ground and pound is there. And now he's got the back. This is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Wow, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Good as that as he gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. So Iron Mike Tyson's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. 30 seconds to go in the round. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. Block. He gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Final seconds here. Done there by Tyson. Lands a solid punch in. He gets to the single power time. Look at him to wear on his opponent by 
pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if he gets to the stool between the lines. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Puts his knee on belly. He's postured, landing huge ground and palm. The guy has to move or the fight's gonna get finished. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Well, he's not leaking information. He is leaking blood and a lot of it as his opponent continues to realize success. I mean, he's finding so much success striking in that area of the face. His eye is so damaged. The blood is pouring everywhere. This has become very, very dangerous for him. Well, he's got his back now. Now he's going full mount. Oh, man, that's hard to watch, right? Targets that swollen area, and it's getting worse by the minute. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. This is it. This has to be the end. That is going to Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. All right, here now Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 16 seconds of the third round. For the winner, by submission, and new undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Big. So how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion. And he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight. He submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner, and this is just an amazing moment for fighter and coach and team. The celebration is on for the new UFC heavyweight champion of the world.